In this video, we're going to continue on with conditional operators. And we're going to look at the AND conditional operator in this video. Now, we're going to use the same code we used in the last video. The only thing we're going to do is switch this to an AND conditional operator. And we do that with two ampersands. So let's go ahead and put those in here. And again, these two ampersands identify this as the AND conditional operator. Now you'll notice in this little notepad file, I've added another column for the ampersand. And right away, you'll notice that the outcomes for these two are very different. You will remember in the last video, the OR conditional operator had three true outcomes. But notice the AND conditional only has one true outcome. The other three are false. And what that basically means is that both of these conditions the one on the left and the one on the right, both have to be true in order for the overall condition, the AND condition, to be true. If either side is false, then the AND conditional operator will test out as false. So that's the big difference between the AND and the OR conditional operator. So let's go ahead and run through these. And as you can see, we already have both of these set up to be true. So let's go ahead and run that, and this should be the only true outcome we get. So let's go ahead and run this, and the condition is true which is exactly what we expected. Now let's go ahead and make B false. So let's flip this to 76. We'll go ahead and rerun this. And there you can see it now comes back as false. Now let's go ahead and test this outcome. So the first one will be false and the second one will be true. So we'll just go ahead and flip these. So we'll make this 56 and we'll set this back to true. So let's go ahead and run this and we should get another false result. And we did. And again, that is exactly what we expected. Now let's go ahead and test out the fourth outcome where both are false. We'll make this 68. So let's go ahead and run this. And there you can see we got a false outcome, which is what we expected. So again, that's the difference between the AND and the OR conditional operators. And remember, once again, it's all about these outcomes. What outcome are you expecting? And if you're not sure, just go ahead and test it out. You can always test the outcomes out by creating true or false conditions. And that's, again, what this equality operator is doing. It's simply a true or false. It's testing out whether our variable A truly does equal 5. It's not setting it to 5. It's just asking the question, is this 5? It's a simple true or false. 